Hey friends, welcome back to FTD News. I'm Sarah Carvalho, and today we're going to be reacting to some of the best news bloopers of the decade. So get ready for some laughs. Let's get right to it. Under the influence. BBC correspondent Quentin Somerville got a little too close to this highly exclusive report. Burning behind me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish, and other narcotics. <laughs> Somerville was taping a segment in the Middle East as a large pile of drugs burned behind him. He manages to record for about five seconds before the fumes get to him, causing uncontrollable yeah. laughter. Burning yeah. <laughs> Somerville I feel bad for him, but serious, like, but each of his attempts at to the same open, time, good for him. Side splitting than the last. <laughs> at times, even the cameraman seems affected by the smoke. Their giggles may have come from being under the influence, oh, but the wow. laughs this report produces are completely genuine. Well, we just need one more. Just one more. He wants to stay a little longer. <laughs> oh, he can't Number even eight, do it. News lessons. There are few things in this world more awkward than suddenly finding yourself working under somebody who you were at one time the boss of. Thank you. Oh, Thank yeah. You. All right, it's back to you, Jim. Allie, uh, don't let her go away. This, that, that, that's, uh, what, does she have a response to that? Is she still there? Probably the worst oh, case wow. scenario is when you find yourself at odds with him while live on Why would you do that? Call television. him out on TV. But at least you can rest assured that your embarrassment is creating some amazing TV for the rest of the world. So what do you want now? Well, if I have to teach you how to be a reporter, Ollie, I'll do that later. Oh, why don't you do that oh. later, Jim? Uh, I think the lady expressed herself, and uh, you're not here, you're there. Would, is there any question you'd like me to ask? We can't help but love every wow. second of this anchor and reporter engaging in schoolyard-level taunts in what should otherwise be a very serious environment. Well, I'll on. give you some lessons on how to be an editor, because I was your boss. Ah! Yeah, you were, ah! and are no longer. How did that happen? Number seven, unique oh, introduction. Oh, man. At one time, the world of television was dominated by a few networks that had a stranglehold on what you saw on your sets. As a result, okay. only the most seasoned, experienced people got the chance to helm the news. Your news leader in high definition. Gay f***ing shit. In our modern world, where there are seemingly as oh. many stations as there are stars in the sky, Live there are TV. many more opportunities for unknowns to grace your TV. Graduated from West Virginia University, and I'm used to, um, you know, from being from the in East Coast. An example of why that is not a good What thing. even? AJ Clemente's first seconds on air were stained with vulgarity and awkwardness <sighs> that got him fired, as well as on Letterman talking about his mistakes. Number six, hamster mugshot. This may be the worst place a rodent has ever popped up. And Are you Andrew kidding? And was providing an update on a disappearance <laughs> case that had gone unsolved for years. And she names Rodney Stanger as a new suspect. Viewers were showing the image of a hamster holding a movie slate. The no! suspect. Rodney Stanger, seen ah! here. Well, no, this is not Rodney Stanger, obviously. It's on screen. At least she handles it really well. Quickly back to the anchor. She manages to dismiss the picture and move on with yeah. the report, with only a faint smile as evidence that it Yikes. never happened. We will say it once more with feeling. When it comes to live news, proper editing is vital. Number five, yeah. instant karma. Arguably, there is nothing more visceral than seeing or hearing someone in extreme pain and knowing exactly what's going through their mind. After what trying to trick her opponent into momentarily stopping her grape stomping, the reporter falls oh. face first into what? the ground. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my god! She's clearly in extreme pain and most of us can oh. relate. In the immediate aftermath of suffering, many of us may try to put up oh. a front that the experience isn't as bad as it seems. So yeah. it would take an all-encompassing pain that our brains would not be able to ignore to make us drop that facade. Oh, Man. I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, she broke her no, nose, I bet. Oh, I think she's actually hurt. No, there. I think she is. Yeah, she's yeah. hurt. Yeah. She hard fall off there. The end of this Duh. new segment is the incarnation <laughs> of that effect, and we cannot stop listening to it. Though we're also cringing at the Oof. same time. Yeah. Number four, boom. You'd think that the two segments of the news that seem the most clear cut and easy to handle would be the weather and sports. Switching to Ball okay. State men's tennis, it seems less. We player on. Oh. It seems every week that you have a player. I feel bad. The latter is oftentimes just spouting stats oh. and scores with a few moments of personal opinions or witticisms thrown in. Steven Jackson's David. As such, many couch potatoes oh. who love sports may fancy themselves a good fit for the role. If you happen to know someone with delusions of grandeur about their potential as a sportscaster or reporter and you want to shut them up, then this clip is for you. Oh, Later, he gets the rebound, passes it to the man, shoots it. 
and boom goes the dynamite. Sometimes <laughs> incapable boom of even stringing a sentence together, this reporter can only wow, spell one memorable line Wow, I'm not sure that's quite the, the line Number three, there. guy <laughs> mistaken for expert. This may be the most hilarious case of mistaken identity ever recorded. Guy Goma went into the BBC News studios to interview for an IT job. I mean, <gasps> you, you got an interview there, so it's a big surprise anyway. A big surprise. But his interview a took big a surprise turn when that he's on TV when he came in for a job Guy interview. Kuhn and put Goma on live television. As oh, Guy Kuhn gosh. was introduced, we see the look of fear flash on his face. <laughs> Against all odds, Goma is able to hold it together and answer the reporter's questions with surprisingly wow. good answers. Exactly. You can go everywhere on the cyber cafe and you can oh, check he's you trying can go so easy. hard it's gonna be very easy way for everyone to get something uh, to it unfortunately guys quick thinking did not get him a job in the it department <sighs> but it did That's get him bad. future tv appearances for which he was <laughs> actually able to prepare number two we'll do it live unlike some of the other reporters on this list Bill O'Reilly is a very seasoned television personality. Okay. Yeah, I can't read it. There's no, there's no words on it. It may be because of that that he feels comfortable acting heck? like this on set. What does that mean? To play us out? When the teleprompter doesn't display what he expects, instead of being a professional and working to rectify the situation, he at first barely holds in his unbridled rage, and then completely unleashes it on those behind the scenes. No. We'll do it live! F it! What? Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! The fact that How he is talk? aware that he's being filmed by the people, like people he unleashes on speaks to his pompous belief that they would never share the footage with others. Luckily wow. for all of us, he was very wrong. That's tomorrow and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with uh, Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. What a loser! And the... Oh, oh, and look at that. How his personality just changes. Here are some. Oh my god, mentions. I'm embarrassed for now her. Now things look nice on 68, and I know you ain't gonna be late. So that was your traffic wrap today. Man, let's get some weather from my weather girl. Uh, Austin oh. Cabin, us. Come on, give us a weather boy. Give it to us. Word. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta oh. High School that led to Chris Woods' I death? I can't. The f is that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying this f***ing country ass f***ed up town. <laughs> we'll toss it back to you guys and uh, Aaron. Again, congratulations on your big Hooters. Uh, the uh, oh! Hoosiers win. Oh! Wow, well, that was a slip of the time. And here they come down the hill. It looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here comes Alvin. What? Alvis. What? Oh! Ooh! That was a bad idea. Oh my idea. God, I feel it. I, my back is hurting. Park, just ah! Oh! Global news. An infestation Ouch. of Canadian brown finches, which is a small part. I guess I should have seen that one coming, huh? Oh no! <laughs> Ew, it's in his mouth! <laughs> that is so freaking Not quite nasty. at the end yet. Almost ah. there though. Number one, zero prank radar. When Asiana Airlines Flight 214 crashed on its final approach to an airport in San Francisco, it had the focus of eyes and ears worldwide. KTV has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Too Low, <laughs> Ho Li Fook, and Bang <laughs> Ding Ao. Even in this are most grave crazy? of circumstances, there are those among us that saw it as an opportunity for jokes Come on, and levity. Tell me. After years of falling for fake <laughs> names, even Mo from The Simpsons may have balked at just how ridiculous a name like Sum Ting Wong sounds when read out loud, <laughs> but somehow it still made it to live television with the Bay Area's KTVU Channel 2 here. News reporting several incorrect oh pilot God. names as fact. We made several mistakes when we received this information. First of all, You're we freaking never read it. the names out loud. All right, friends, there you have it. Some of the greatest bloopers of the decade. Man, some of those were bad. I would hate to be those news reporters on camera. All right, friends, let us know down below which of these was your favorite, and we'll see you right here next time for more news. See you later.